to me, art is extremely valuable when it connects to what is important to me. And it's extremely valuable when it has a certain kind of impact on somebody. Art is this therapeutic way which I can vet my feelings into. What I cannot say in person to other people, I can draw it and I can sketch it and I can paint it. So IB art is a very interesting process because it spans over two years almost. We started off with skills and techniques which we had to do and then we started to develop on topics and start working on actual artworks. You learn how to focus on a different theme that you might not be as comfortable with, but you learn to be comfortable with it. And it's supposed to be slow and subtle and not rushed. And if it's rushed, it's not gonna look the way you want to. It can be way longer than you think it's gonna be. Uh, there are gonna be a lot of changes throughout it. There's not like there, there's not a single piece that really encompasses everything that you want to do. My work is all about different loves that a person goes through in their life that all lead up to an unconditional love. And I focus on all loves exceeding romantic love. My cohesive thread theme was restriction, specifically the restriction that's placed upon society by people in power, so that can be governments, large corporations. My work is about indigenous stories in Venezuela and basically Venezuelan mythology. And also, you know, told people that the surface level things or like the things that are, we're currently going through are just temporary and that the history is so much more powerful than that and it can go beyond the crisis that is currently going on. My theme is the hidden truth of the youth and that internal struggles of uh, a teenager. So when you walk into an exhibition, you see these four artworks which surround you and it is supposed to have that kind of feeling so you're in this dark atmosphere there's this slight opening at the end, and there's this artwork which hangs. It's like this place where the teenager, or you even, attain peace from all that surrounding and dark atmosphere. You go into this bright area. Looking back at the start of IB, uh, I wish I had known uh, the extent to which you have to apply yourself to every detail. A lot of my initial ideas were, did not come through in the end. Like a lot of the stuff that I initially thought of in my head, it made perfect sense. But then I had to modify them, I had to change them, I had to find a way to explain them. I think the most rewarding aspect of the process was getting to know who I am as an artist, really understanding who I am and falling in love with the medium of acrylics paint was really rewarding to me. The most rewarding aspect of IP art was definitely the exhibition. It's really the only point uh, in the whole course where you put your work up in the exact way that you want it, and you get to see how people experience your artwork. So basically seeing what meanings people find in it, seeing how they react with it, that was really rewarding. I developed a lot of skills in art, and I know that how people perceive art is very different than what I perceive it as. I thought that I was as close as I could get to my country. There is a lot of thought that goes into everything. Um, and sometimes it's just so wonderful to really know it and showed me the true effort that it takes to tell these stories and you know, still feel connected in a way. The extended process has really impacted me personally. Uh, to me, art is something that allows you to express yourself in a very personal way that can still be experienced by others. For me, I think it's like art is all about expressing who you are, really. I think art has changed my perspective in expressing things. With art, you can just express everything. Art is very personal, I think, and in the fact that it's very personal, that gives it more value because because it's just, it's a bit subjective. And so uh, depending on the person, it has different value and that overall makes it pretty rich, I think.